Hey guys, it's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing good on this terrific Tuesday. I'm doing blessed and highly favored. And I hope the same thing for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love, and light to you. And many blessings are yet to come. And thank you for the support and showing the love for stopping by my channel. And if you can, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification button so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you resonate with my video, and feel free, you can drop a comment and even give me a thumbs up. I love the positive feedback. And if you are a returning sub, as always, thank you for the love and support. And many blessings to you. And namaste and love and light. Today, my video is about Twin Flame 101 healing from narcissistic abuse. Guys, you remember I was telling y'all about my, um, if you watched my video yesterday and day before, you know, I've been going through some ups and downs, you know, just like anybody else. It's just a terrific day, you know, just a terrific day for that. But it's, it's just like when you're dealing with narcissistic people and you have grew up with them, it's just kind of hard to break away from it since it's something that you are just so used to. And I have to break that chain because I don't want my children dealing with stuff like that. But it's just like, you know, I had to go to, um, you know, go to this, uh, this channel. I think her name is Little Shaman. And she does a lot of uh, videos, you know, if you're, you guys are dealing with the same thing with narcissistic people and how to heal from it. It's just that you have to recognize that it's abuse. And it's just like, you know, dealing with narcissistic people. Even if you call them out on it, I'm a type of person, if you know me, you know, if it's any of my, the people I grew up with, they know me, I don't take no mess, I have no filter, and, you know, I used to, you know, I had a bad habit of wanting to talk with my hands a lot, <laughs> just to get my point across, I used to talk with my hands a lot, and, you know, like, getting in the fights, and, you know, I just couldn't do that, so it's just like, you know, knowing that you're going through some stuff, and it's very hard to break that. And you're going through it and you just know you can never take it personal. It has nothing to do with us. It really doesn't. It's just something with them. They It seems like they have no feelings. They do not care. You know, some narcissists, especially if it's somebody that you are dating or married to, they cheat. <laughs> they will cheat. You know, even if they're with the next person, they will be cheating on them too. You know, and it's like, you know, it's basically like that, that Shaza talking about, you know, th that weekend. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, that's her man on Monday, Tuesday, whatever. And it'll be somebody else's. But thank God, you know, I, don't, I ain't got time. So it's just like, you know, you're going through the stuff and and you're recognizing it for what it is. And it's just like you're dealing with narcissistic people. They have, you know, they have abandonment issues or whatever. And it's just like you really cannot take it personal. And that's sometimes it's hard to do, especially when it's projected at you. You know, they will try to make you seem like you're crazy. And it's just like, you know, with my situation, he he does he sees me doing my YouTube videos. So he'll try to say something, you know, like, oh, you know, oh my God, somebody did YouTube video and they got almost ten thousand views just in one hour. And I'm just like, Yeah, and what was the video about? He was like, Oh, it was about this girl twerking. I said, Okay. Somebody showing their tail and they shaking their boom boom and all that stuff. So, of course, you know, if I'm talking about something that's going to better yourself, yeah, you're not going to get that many views on that. But if I'm doing something where I'm slapping somebody or busting somebody in the face or I'm doing something to make me look stupid, you know, people are going to, you know, view that a lot more than when you're going to do something that's going to, you know, make your, you know, make your life better so i mean i'm not tripping off of that because it's just one or two views i'll just be happy that somebody came out to listen to me so it's just you got to be able to shut it down and it's just like with me it's like i had to let go of that i really did i had to let go of it and it's just like it's okay it really is okay and it's just when you learn from it and you heal from it and recognize what you're dealing with because it's just like dealing with narcissistic people they will you know it can be physical and thank god i have not had to deal with that you know but it's more emotional and mental and they will mess with you any kind of way they possibly can just to know you know that's they need that attention and it's like when you cut that off and you don't show them that kind of attention boy that ooh. <laughs> that makes them feel some type of way so you have to be able to cut that off and not you know you not to you can respond to it but you don't have to react to it and i had to learn that i can't react to it anymore i have to be able to either ignore him 
or when I have no other choice but to respond, but respond, but leave it short, you know, and just, you know, stay clear from it as much as you can, especially if, you know, if you're in my situation where you don't have the means to actually leave, you know, just up and leave like that if you don't have the funds for it. So it's just the best way I know how to do it is just ignore it. And just do, you know, find myself to go somewhere else if I feel like it's, you know, it's getting to a situation where I, you know, I feel like I'm about to lose my cool because he, you know, I hate to have to catch a case for somebody and I'm not trying to catch a case because it's not worth it. Because it's like I tell you guys, I need my blessing. So, you know, he when he feels that he knows I'm close to my blessing, he'll try to sabotage it so quick. And you will deal with somebody if they feel like that you, you have any kind of things that's bettering yourself they will try to sabotage it they will try to downgrade you and you have to learn how to not deal with that and that was something I had to do because it's just like I make more videos and I you know not it makes me feel good that I'm doing these because it's like you got to spread awareness for things that you go through even if it's not a narcissistic person it's just plain abuse you have to be able to recognize and heal from that and that's a lot to do is when you heal from it and I know I'm feeling it and I'm going because I know my heart chakra just opened the heck up just for me talking about that because you have to learn how to heal from it and be able to move on. Because, I mean, I had to say prayers this morning because it's like even things that, you know, it, it was said like months ago or weeks ago, it will come back and it'll make me feel some type of way. And it's just like, you know what, you, you're going to have a grieving point when you can recognize that, you know, this wasn't really a relationship. It was like a situation ship, as I, I've heard that, you know, that saying before. It was a situation ship. And, you know, it, it's like I don't I don't hate him. And I try not to. I just don't like the character he had. But, you know, I know I have to move on. It, it, that doesn't say nothing about my character. It says a lot about his. So when you go through different stuff like that and you recognize what you're going through, and it's, it, it's going to take some time to heal. And it really is. It's going to take some time to heal. But just to know that you're making that first step to heal and recognize it for what it is, that's all you need to do. And then it'll, when you start recognizing it and you start taking that step every single day, it'll be to that point where you'll, you know, you'll finally heal from that. You'll finally heal from it. But you know if you're still angry about some situations, you know you're not healing from it. And it was just like I had to stop myself and just say, you know what, let it go. You know, even though you have that memory that comes back, you have to, you know, don't don't fight with it. Just just set it free. And so, you know, guys, it's just like when you're going through stuff like that, you know, be able to heal from that narcissistic abuse and recognize it for what it is. Because so many of us are dealing with it, with it from loved ones. You know, I had to deal with it from my father. He was like that for years. And it took me to have to go through it myself to know what my mom had went through with my adopted father and it made me feel so bad you know for her because i remember he had actually turned me against my mother and that was the only person that loved me like that the way she did so it's just like you know there's times when i i think about it and i'll cry and i'll tell my mom i'm so sorry for the things you went through but just trust and know that you know the things that i'm doing right now to better myself i'm doing this for you too not just for myself but i'm doing it for her too because there was so many things she struggled with you know as depression and had to really deal with that because my my adopted dad really broke her down really did and I just don't I don't want to see myself go through that I had to break that pattern because I don't want my children going through the same thing so I'm not trying to hold you guys up today and I hope you'll be able to resonate with that and you know and if you feel free you can go ahead and drop a comment and you know and if you're going through some stuff like that I pray I, I pray for you guys too um and just know things will get better you just have to believe it and uh, trust me I believe and I got faith <laughs> you know, because I'm, I'm just too close to my blessings right now to sit up here and let that hinder me. Um, and it'll make you a better person. It'll make you a stronger person when you're able to do that and walk away. So I hope everybody's doing blessed. And I will say a prayer for you as you, I hope you do the same for me. And I will talk to you later. Peace and be wild.